Hello, welcome to the fourth unit of operating system. We have already seen what is an operating system, how it interacts with the hardware. We have seen that operating system's primary job, as we see it, is to execute programs, to run processes. We already know what a process means, how it is executed. And then we saw in the last unit what is a multi processing environment. In a multi processing, how are processes scheduled? Then we ask ourselves what will happen if a process itself has sub processes? We know that modern computers allow you to run multiple processes simultaneously. If we consider Microsoft Office like editor, a large program, as one process, can we really call it as uh, one large big process or should we break its activities into smaller sub processes or let us consider a media player which is playing video and audio. Now, we can say there is one program which is written and executed as a process which tries to read the video frames, sends it to the video output device. Simultaneously, it is also reading the audio signals encoded in the media file and sends it to the audio device. If we think of it like this, we already see a problem. How will these two be scheduled? Do we alternate be between each of, each of them? At first I look at the video, then I look at the audio. That should not be the case. We would want to separate them out. So, do we initiate different processes? So, first we run a media player which shows only video and then we run an audio player which uh, runs only audio, then try to sync them somehow. So, we already see that in case of the modern complex programs, they are written in such a way that in a, in the process that is currently running, there are in fact multiple sub processes. Of course, in the last unit we have seen that processes can spawn new processes, can start new processes but that is not what we should be looking at. What if we have a scenario where you have one process and it has different threads of execution. One execution dealing with video, one thread of execution dealing with audio. When I say thread of execution, you can th think of it like a thread of communication. So, you are talking to somebody, uh, talking to two people simultaneously. First, first you speak a sentence to the right and then you speak a sentence to the left. But in your head, you know that you, you are talking two different things to two different people while maintaining the context thread. You, with one you are talking of operating system, with another you are talking of databases, let us say. But whatever your conversation is, in your head, you are maintaining two separate entities, com communication entities. Similarly, when we are processing a complex process like media player, we should have two threads of execution, one instruction set which is uh, charged with playing the video, one instruction set whose job it is to play the audio. With modern computers which have multiple cores or even multiple processors, this is very easily possible. Even if that was not the case, each thread of execution can be treated as different sub processes. They would be treated like processes within a process and they will be scheduled just like that. So, in this 
unit, we bring in the concept of threads. People might have heard of multi threading. Here, multi threading basically means that a process will have multiple execution threads, and we will try to see what these threads actually mean and how they interact with each other, how they interact with the operating system, why they are necessary. One reason that comes to mind why they are necessary is that if you have two processes, the CPU has to context switch. We have already seen process control block, it will have to change the whole process control block, even though there would be information that these processes are sharing. Then it has to have the overhead of your process inter process communication. Threads avoid all of that. They will have same process control blocks with minor changes. They will have shared memory, so on so forth. We will try to understand these different concepts of threading. We will try to understand what are the different kinds of multi threading models. How do modern machines, how do modern operating systems deal with multi threading? We will also deal with issues that are generated because we need multi threading. Process execution is more or less simple, but when you have a multi process, multi threaded environment, then multiple issues can also crop up. We will see what are these issues and how we deal with them. And finally, we will see how modern operating systems are equipped to deal with multi threading, to deal with machines that can handle multi threading or operating systems which can use mach uh, machines which are usually single threaded single processor, use those machines for multi threading.